So Saren is finally getting back into this game. Kind of. Hey! Ooh, so big Operation I Droid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of Kuroko no Basuke Season 3, Episode 70. If you haven't watched the episode yet, I highly recommend you do so by following the link in the description below and coming back to this video when you're done. With that being said, let's head into the review. Okay, so this episode was pretty depressing at the start. Just like the last episode, we continued to see Saren just struggle to take on um, Rakuzan. And it was really sad. Like, they were just getting destroyed. Like, there was no hope whatsoever. And Akashi wanted to destroy any little hope that Saren had. And that's what we saw during the halftime meeting that both teams usually have. However, for some reason, we didn't see Saren's halftime meeting. We just got a flashback of Rakuzan where we heard Akashi saying that the key to victory or the key to complete victory was two things. The first one being completely destroying Hyuga and just shutting him down. And the second one being completely shutting down Kagami as well. If Rakuzan was able to do those two things, they would have a complete victory in Akashi's eyes and there would be no chance of defeat. And to no avail, that was exactly what Rakuzan did. They just shut down Hyuga and partially most of it was Hyuga's fault like he got his fourth foul with a technical and I was just like yo what do you have to get a technical for just keep your mouth shut and take the foul like a man but that really did hinder uh Saren and just really demotivated them and even more was when Akashi was able to shut down Kagami before he could even get into the zone and when it looked like all hope was lost there is only one person that you can call to that will never give up and of course that is our boy Kuroko like as we know he always says don't give up until the last buzzard rings even if you have a 0% chance a 0.1% chance never give up and that is what Kuroko did and with that he was able to get the spirits up of the entire team and with him getting back into the game he employed a very brilliant strategy against Mayazumi because it's not like Kuroko had just been on the bench the whole time sitting down and just crying because his Phantom Six Man was taken over by Mayazumi. Rather, he was sitting on the bench observing and thinking of the best strategy that he could use to shut down Mayazumi the way that he was shut down. And he really did that well. Like, the strategy that he used was great. Like, he made Mayazumi seem visible to everyone else so that he would be more invisible in comparison to him. And with that, Kuroko was able to spike the offense because he was able to get his passes into his teammates perfectly for easy scores and he was able to even help on the defensive side because he grabbed steals and just was a really big presence not knowing where he was at times and because of that he was even able to inspire Kagami to get back in the zone because as we know the only way that Kagami can get into the zone is when he's fighting for his friends and seeing Kuroko start fighting even when everyone was about to give up on the game that really helped Kagami get into the zone and this time around in this zone he's a badass like this zone is better than any zone that we've seen before like he's on some Murisaki badass stuff in the paint like guarding Akashi like five feet away and not letting any shots go in now of course there are some shots going in but he was blocking tons of shot, not letting Akashi do what he wanted, and it seemed like everything was going well. However, as we know, there's no way Akashi would ever let that fly. And it was pretty cool to see for quite some time, and it was just like the first 10 minutes of this episode were just depressing as hell. Rakuzan just completely obliterating um, Saren. But then the second 10 minutes of the episode were just like Saren getting back into a coming big. They were ready to get on a streak. But then Akashi just put his foot in the door and said no more. And he was even able to use Mayazumi after 
he had been rendered useless. And that just goes to show how much of a monster Akashi is. Like, even Morisaki Bara that's in the crowd was like, the reason that I said Saren has 0% chance of winning is because Akashi is on the court. And then Aomane is like, because Akashi's there, the chance of Saren winning is almost zero. But as we know, there's no way in hell Saren is going to give up or at least attempt to give up like they did before with Kuroko on the court and just never giving up. However, it seems like it's going to be pretty difficult for Saren to come back. I mean, at the half, they were down by 25 points. They really haven't shown us the scoreboard again, as far as I remember. But I'd be willing to say that Saren's only down by like 15 points now because that little run that they had probably helped them get up a bit but now that akashi is able to use mayazumi in kind of a misdirection overflow way it's gonna be difficult for Saren to play some good defense because as we saw akashi's passes are just getting through like nothing just because mayazumi's on the court and everyone's attention is now on mayazumi because of the things that he did which allowed Kuroko to become invisible and it's just like a back and forth between Kuroko and Akashi using like different things to make themselves get an advantage against each other and it's just been an amazing game and I'm really enjoying Kuroko no Basuke and of course all in all I thought this episode was great. Let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comments section below as well as let me know who your MVP is mine definitely has to be Kuroko like the way he came back after everyone was just completely defeated was awesome and just goes to show what type of character Kuroko is and that his presence on the team means a lot but anyways as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation